12th standard english students now we are going to learn about unit 6 supplementary remember caesar this one is play arthur gordon david okay just here the main theme of this story that play a remember caesar is a light hearted comedy and then identify the various aspects as the title plot and characteristics and contribute to the humor in the play the speaker actually forgot the note what is that remember caesar what he wrote at the time of his busy morning though the note was a reminder so actually in this reminder for this remember caesar one single paper bit of paper his absent minus and forgetfulness the irony in the message remember caesar lord western so first uh, the main theme of the characters here lord western he is a judge lord western and roger chetian western's assistant roger is a western's assistant lady western is a western's wife so that's all so here th there is the three characters is important Okay, the Lord Weston, an absent-minded judge, made all her work in the story was really humorous character. He's always the absent mind. And being a judge, he used his intelligence to stop his assassination by the enemies. But his absent minus made all his attempt futile and it made him joker. Roger, who is the Roger? What I have said? Roger is a assistant of Weston. Weston is a judge. Being a secretary to Lord Weston, enacted upon all his master's orders. He was blind with dedication to his master. He assisted with Weston in all the homework. He was also humorously pictures in this story. Lady Weston, Weston's wife Frances, had been fed up with her husband's Tom Fulleris. Okay, so here's the importance play that just uh, can remember that single piece of paper he kept the Western. So that is the title so they have given, Remember Caesar. So okay, here. Julius Caesar, just a warm up, Julius Caesar was a brilliant military general and great Roman monarch. He was born on 13th of July in 100 BC. He created the Julian calendar which is the basis for today's calendar. He was assassinated by a group of Roman. He was assassinated, murdered, so that is assassinated by a group of Roman senators in 44 BC. The day that Julius Caesar was murdered, 15th March was called the Idus of March in ancient Rome. Here is the play that revolves around the Idus of March, 15th of March, the day Julius Caesar was assassinated. The play Remember Caesar is about a pompous and proud judge who fears a life threat after he discovers a message remember Caesar scribbled on a piece of paper and his pocket he exhausted his assistant Roger to remind a lot to file the possible attempt of the assistant actually Roger um, Roger informed so that he is your absent mind no Western the Lord Western is here always the absent man. So that is a single paper he kept it. The so remember Caesar. He is panic, fear, striken and makes his assistant Yankage elaborate precautionary measures. Let us read the play to know whether Lord Western and Roger thought the attempt or not. The characters again we recall. Lord Weston, a judge, Roger Chetion, Weston's assistant, Lady Weston, so Weston's wife. Lord Weston is seated by the fireplace. He is starting with this to play. He was sitting in the fireplace, a table of books and papers beside him, talking. 
Downrack is seated. Mr. Roger Setion, a thin, earnest, absent-minded and conscientious young person. So, conscientious is he that his mind even when even when absent is absent on his employer's business. He has begun by listening to his master's lecture, but the load of his work has been gradually too much for him, and he is now blissfully copying from one paper onto another, while the measured words flow over him, his lips forming the phrases while he writes. Okay, just uh, like a conversation. So first, Western. Western, who is that? Just we can recall. Western is here. Main important character. He is a judge. Roger, it is not alone a question of duty. That is your own success in the world to be considered. So Roger, just Western informed to Roger. Roger, it is not alone a question of duty. That is your own success in the world to be considered own success in the world to be considered in yours. It is not your intention to be secretary all your life. Is it? No. Very well. Diligence and a respect for detail should be your care. I didn't become Lord Western. I didn't become Lord Lord Western. So be, now I am Lord Western. So before when I start my life I didn't Lord Western. By twiddling my thumbs and hoping for favors, I won my harness by hard work and seller service. Through my hard work, I came this life. Okay, by hard work and seller's service today. I am the best known. I am the best known and certainly the most impartial judge in England. The most impartial judge in England. And a favoured servant of his gracious majesty, Charles the Second, that I submit my good Roger is an example to be studied. It is now only unbecoming in you to ask for a off holiday. But it is greatly unlike you. I fear I fear he has turned to his secretary and discovers his misplaced diligence. After a pause, coldly, can't it be? I fear, can't it be? Mr. Chetwin, Ch Mr. Roger, Chris Chetwin, that you have not been listening to my discourse. Just the room. Western discussed with his assistant, Roger. So how is the life? So what I was doing? So, okay, now I am, I am Western, 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 Lord Western. So, before I didn't Lord Western. So, through my hard work, I came this life. So, that's, he, he has informed to Roger. Roger replied, brought to the surface by the sessions of the world music. What, my blood? Oh, no, yes. Certainly, sir, I am listening. What, my lord? Oh, no. Yes, certainly. Yes, sir. I am listening. Western, what was I talking of? What I was talking to you, what do you say? Roger replied, yourself, sir. I mean of your rise to success. I mean of your rise to success, my lord. It is apparent that it is an of here day. That here I mean of your rise to success, my Lord. Western, we were talking of your extraordinary request for a half holiday. We were talking of your extraordinary request for a half holiday. When you had one, one only last month, when you had one only last month, would it be straining courtesy too far? If I were to inquire what prompts this new demand for he heedless leisure, Roger, I thought perhaps if you did not need me this afternoon, if you did not need me this afternoon, my lord, 
I might personally interview the clerk of the awards committee. I might personally interview the clerk of the awards committee and find out why he has not sent that document. So Roger asked to Weston. Here, uh, Weston, a little taken aback. Oh, oh, indeed, Roger. The lack of it greatly hinders. It holds up my work. You see, and at this most interesting point, Weston, Lord Weston replied that of course is a different matter. I see no reason why you should not take a walk to Mr. Clay's in the afternoon. If the weather is fine, I am relieved that your thoughts are on sober matters. The befits a rising young man, diligence, courage, and attending to detail. These are the three. Without an orderly mind, orderly mind, no man can hope. Roger has gone back to his work to excel in any of the learned professions. He has found a scrap of paper rather crushed in his pocket and smooth it it's out uninterestedly to make a rough spill. Detail, my good Roger, attention to detail. That is the beginning of greatness. That is the reading automatically and with some difficulty what is written on the scrap scrap of the paper remember caesar so that is the uh, roger gave that remember cipher from single paper written on the scrap of the paper Re uh, repeating with vague interest he turns the paper back and forth at loss at loss and then a new idea occurs to him a rather horrible idea to roger what is the date today as Roger buried again his work. So that's so the next page it will start. So here the first two pages what we have learned. Just they were discussed. Actually Roger is a assistant of Weston. So here still now uh, Weston uh, wife, that Lady Weston didn't enter. Okay, hereafter we will see that Lady Weston what she will do. Okay, what she will say to the Weston and Roger. Okay, just to continue that. So here, the main theme of this play, the remember Caesar, the one single piece of paper only, the Roger has written and he gave to Weston. Okay, so in that particular day, actually Weston is absent-minded. So that he was writing that remember Caesar, the one single bit of paper, and then Weston kept his pocket. So an important one things, one idea he gave it. so that he gave the piece of paper. So here Lord Weston's wife Frances had been fed up with her husband's tomb. She spoke as if she too had believed that the message posed immediate deed to Weston's life. So Weston's wife is an important character in this play. Okay, so here uh, does not answer Roger. I said, "What what day of the month is it?" Roger, what month? What what day of the month is it? It is the fifteenth, my lord. So that's the continue of this uh, uh, play. The fifteenth of this, my lord. So who said Roger? Informed to Western. Thank you students. We will continue that uh, next class. Thank you.